Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Mirage 2000 also known as Vajra meaning thunder have always been a reliable machine of Indian Air Force. They have been the mainstay of force since the Kargil war. Indian Air Force operates 49 Mirage 2000 in three squadron. Squadron number one, the Tigers. Squadron number seven, Battle Axis and squadron number nine, Wolf Pack. During Operation Safed Sagar from May to July 1999, the two Mirage squadrons flew a total of 514 sorties with only three dropouts. Number one squadron flew 274 air defense and strike escort missions. Number seven squadron conducted 240 strike missions during which it dropped 55,000 kg of ordnance. They successfully took out Pakistan army camps and bunkers on the Tiger Hilltop in the Kargil war and changed the face of the war by successfully hitting enemy camps at such high altitudes with pinpoint precision using laser guided bombs. In response to the parliament attack of 2001, Mirages played a vital role during Operation Parakram. In Air Force Mirages dropped precision guided bombs weighing 1000 pounds to destroy four bunkers that were occupied by Pakistani forces at Lunda Post on the Indian side of LOC in the Machil sector. More than 30 casualties were reported from Pakistani sites. Back on 26 February 2019 at 3 hours, Indian Air Force Mirages crossed the LOC silently and bombed the heart of Jashar Muhammad training camp in Balakot in Pakistan. The Balakot airstrike plotted an array of 12 Mirage 2000 fighter jets that crossed the line of control and destroyed the Jashar Muhammad terror camp in Balakot. Last year, UAE has contracted a deal with Dassault Aviation for 80 new Rafale F-4 to replace its Mirages. UAE currently has 59 Mirage 2000 in its inventory. These Mirages are not some rusted out second-hand jets with antique weapons but a modernized Mirages with minimum of 8 years of life left. These fighters were upgraded in 2019 with Thales RDY-3 radar and Talios advanced targeting pod used in Rafale. The aircraft is capable of carrying air-to-surface missile as well as cruise missiles such as Scalp EG. Now as per the latest reports, UAE has offered its entire fleet of Mirage 2000 fighters to Morocco. Egypt and Greece have also expressed their interest in the UAE Mirages. It's being reported that 34 Mirages will go to the Kingdom of Morocco while the rest to Egypt. If we talk about Indian Air Force, it's already struggling with its declining squadron strength. MMRCA 2.0 or MRFA is yet to take off and even if it flies, the delivery of fighters will not be sooner than 2028. India has always been in a state of two-front war situation and the danger of the same is always looming. In this situation, it would have been sensible decision to add the upgraded UAE Mirages to its inventory which would have immediately boosted its squadron strength. In my opinion, a great opportunity had been missed by Indian Air Force. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.